audio CDs, you will hear the script for the listening exercises, the speaking exercises, and some of the writing exercises. This is the script for the listening exercises. During each exercise, you will hear a listening passage. After each listening passage, you will respond to questions. The directions for each exercise and the questions are printed in the book, but the listening passages will be spoken. Ready? Let's begin. Exercise 1. Number 1. The professor drilled and drilled until I couldn't stand it. I heard he assigned a whole lot of exercises without explaining any of the grammar rules, too. I'm glad I went to the gym. What are the man and woman talking about? Two. They sell gas by the gallon here. Yes, and I see that the bulk food in the grocery store is sold in pounds and ounces. What are these two people most probably discussing? Three. You should have your mail held at the post office until you get back. Good idea. I remembered to get the newspaper stopped, but I'd forgotten about that. What are these two people talking about? Four. Do you know how many students were accepted in the new doctoral program? Well, I saw Mary at the party last night, and she said that only six got in. What are the two people discussing? Five. I applied for the exchange program to Europe this year, but I couldn't go because I got sick. That's too bad. Nancy went to England last year, and she said it was really a great experience. What are the man and woman discussing? Six. The chairs in that lecture room are really uncomfortable. You said it. They're so small that my children wouldn't even fit in them. What are the man and woman talking about? Seven. I've had it with my computer. I lost another paper when I tried to save it on a disk. You have to do something about that. Why don't you try over at Computer World? What are the two people discussing? Eight. I was late for class because I couldn't find a parking space. It's because of registration week. I drove around for almost half an hour before I found one this morning. What are the two people talking about? Nine. I really like Dr. Smith, but I can't say as much for her T.A. Sally? Oh, she's okay. As long as you go to class and get the lab reports in on time. What are the man and woman discussing? Ten. I used to bring my lunch to school when I was working in the chemistry department, but now that I'm a full-time student, I just eat at the snack bar. Me too. It's too hard trying to get everyone ready in the morning at my house. What are the man and woman talking about? Yeah. Exercise 2. Number 1. You look awful. 
Do you have a hangover? No, I've been up all night finishing a paper. All I've had to drink is coffee. What is the man's problem? Two. Can I use my credit card to pay my fees, or do I have to give you a check? Your card is fine as long as your credit approval goes through. How does the woman want to pay? Three. No wonder Sharon won't see you. She probably thought that such an expensive gift was inappropriate on such short acquaintance. It certainly is different here. In my country, men are supposed to show women that they care for them by giving them jewelry. Why did Sharon stop seeing the man? Four. Why do you need to check my purse? Do you think I stole something? Not at all. This is a standard security procedure. Why did the man look through the woman's purse? Five. I lost my notebook. Could I borrow yours before the test? I'm sorry. I'd like to help you, but I just can't. I have to take it with me to work so I can study on my breaks. What does the woman want the man to do? Six. That looks like Steve's car, but who is that girl driving it? Oh, that's Steve's sister. I met her last night at Mary Ann's party. Who is driving Steve's car? Seven. The door seems to be locked. Do I need a key for the bathroom? No, just push hard. It sticks a little. Why won't the door open? Eight. Can we use our calculators on the test? Yes. If you bring them to me at the beginning of the test, I'll check them out and return them right away so you can use them. What does the man want to do? Nine. My roommate left, and he didn't pay his share. So I'm stuck with all the rent and utilities for last month. That's not fair. You should call his family. What is the woman's advice? Ten. I want to apply for a student loan, please. All right. Fill out these forms and bring in your income tax records from last year. Then I'll review your options with you. How will the woman help the man? Exercise three, number one. Is Jack your cousin? No. He seems more like a brother, really, but we are just good friends. What is the relationship between Jack and the man? Two. So I asked Frank if we could live together next semester, and he said that he was going to room with Jeff. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I know that Steve is looking for a roommate. What does the woman suggest?
three. What did you get on the calculus exam? A C, and I feel lucky to have it. Mike got a B, but almost everyone else got Ds and Fs. What grade did the woman receive? Four. Where can I buy a computer? It doesn't have to be the best on the market. Uh huh. You could go to a computer store or a discount store. But if I were you, I'd look into some of the special offers through the university. I saw something in the paper just last night. What advice does the woman give the man? Five. You didn't get your grades because your name isn't on the roster. Did you attend the class and take the exams? I certainly did, and I paid my fees too. Why didn't the woman receive a grade for the course? Six. What size do you need? I'm not too sure. I wear a five and a half or a six in Europe, and a seven in Canada. But I think I need a seven and a half here. What size will the man probably bring? Seven. I have been having the worst headaches. I know some of it is stress, but I'm worried that I might have something more serious, like high blood pressure. Well, we'll check that out, of course. But first, tell me the last time you had your glasses changed. It really sounds more like eye strain. What does the man suspect? Eight. Have you started writing your paper for history? Not yet. I'm still writing up my laboratory assignments for chemistry and studying for my midterms in English and French. For which class must the woman begin to prepare? Nine. Are you glad that you came to Washington? Yes, indeed. I considered going to New York or Boston, but I've never regretted my decision. Where does the man live? Ten. Something is wrong with second gear. It seems to run fine in reverse and drive, but when I shift into second, the motor stalls out. I hope that it won't be too difficult to fix. Which gear needs to be fixed? Exercise four, number one. Do you need a ride to the airport? Thanks anyway. I thought I would, but I have my car back now. How will the woman get to the airport? Two. Okay, what'll you have?、Um, give me the eggs and potatoes. Oh, wait a minute. How about the eggs and pancakes? What does the woman want to eat? Three. How many boxes of Girl Scout cookies did you order? Four. No, five. How many boxes of cookies did the man order? Four. What is the area code from which you are calling? Six nine one. Oops, 
That's not right. It's 619. What is the correct area code for the woman? Five. I thought you said it was eight cents a copy. I did, but it's ten cents a copy when you make fewer than twenty copies and you have only fifteen. How much per copy will the woman pay? Six. How much to send a one-page fax? One dollar. Oh, wait a minute. This is an overseas transmission. That's two fifty. How much will the woman pay? Seven. Let me see. There's a documentary about wolves on Channel Three. That sounds pretty interesting, but I'd rather go to the movies. What does the woman want to do? Eight. Do you want large bills or twenties? Give me twenties, please. Oh wait, maybe I should take two fifties and the rest in twenties. What does the man want the woman to do? Nine. Where shall we go for lunch? It's your turn to choose. How about the country kitchen, or better yet, the old house? They have great salads. Where will the man and woman eat lunch? Ten. Will you be home late again tonight? I'm afraid so, but I should be able to get away by six, or let's say seven, just to be on the safe side. When will the man be home? Exercise five, number one. Let's go to Florida on spring break. You're putting me on. What does the woman mean? Two. Can you believe it? It says in the paper that tuition is going up another hundred dollars a semester. That's just what I need. What does the woman mean? Three. Can you let me borrow some paper? This lecture is so long that I've run out. Sure, here you go. What did the man do? Four. That test was not what I studied for. No joke. I hope I passed it. How does the man feel about the test? Five. What did you say? Honestly, Will, you're just not all there sometimes. What does the woman mean? Six. I can't believe that I signed up for this class. Neither can I. It is such a Mickey Mouse course. On what do the speakers agree? Seven. 
I'll pick you up after class. Don't bother. What does the woman mean? Eight. Do you like ice cream? <laughs> I'll say. What does the man mean? Nine. Did you know that Joan is going to move back to Maine? I'll believe it when I see it. What does the woman mean? Ten. How was your day? Don't ask. What does the man mean?